Hi, I'm Steve Egan, Director of Diagnostic Imaging at Norfolk General Hospital. This is our new suite. Um, this was a long process. First of all, we had to get the money from the community. Thank you so much from the entire Diagnostic Imaging Department. This was a long project. Um, the old machine that was in here was actually 20 years old. So we had to start it back in June, take the entire unit out, redo the room, and as you can see, it's a fabulous job. It's all new flooring, all new lighting, all new ceilings, all new ventilation. The staff love it. The machine is so easy to use. It's user-friendly. It's extremely safe for the patients. It's all digital, so there's less radiation to the patients, and it's so much safer and easier to use. The old unit, you'd have to get on our step stool and climb up on it, and as you can see, with this uh, new digital technology, all the parts that used to be underneath are no longer required, so you can just sit on it. How easy is that? And if you're a little taller, we can raise it up. Just so much better for the patient, easier for the staff, all around it's just a much better system, it's a better unit, it's faster, it's more efficient, it's more safe. And um, once again, thank you so much. Part of this purchase of the new x-ray unit included this auxiliary tube. The main table tube is directly hooked up over the detector system. It can't be moved. So when we get patients from the nursing home or inpatients that come and see us in a wheelchair, we don't have to get them on the table. This auxiliary tube does the same thing as the table tube, except it's much more flexible. So we can actually bring a patient in sitting in the wheelchair and x-ray them right in the chair. If it's for their wrist or arm or ankle or whatever, we really don't have to move them. And if they're for a chest x-ray, we don't have to um, get them to stand up. We can just angle the tube and take their x-ray while they're right in the chair. It's just a fabulous piece of equipment. And again, it's all totally digital. It's really, really low dose radiation. And um, it really does help the technologists do the cases, especially if you get a trauma in, which we do a lot of car accident patients, and some people believe it or not. And um, it really, really helps the uh, medical radiation technologists get the best films the fastest way. They get sent to the PAC system quickly. The doctors can view them from various areas throughout the hospital and even different hospitals right away. So it's just a fabulous system. Up until a few months ago, when we did x-ray, we were using these imaging plates. These are no longer required. And I can show you why. The new detector is built right in the table. So there's no need for us to change the imaging plates as we're doing the procedure on the patient. It's all done from back here on the console. So basically this is all new technology courtesy of the community. Thank you so much. So when we get the patient on the table, we can virtually x-ray you from head to toe without moving you at all to a different room which is very interesting. Now when we say digital, I can show you some images on here. If you look at the detail on here, the detailed images of this, this is somebody's back lumbar spine x-ray. And as we scroll through it, you'll see all the different angles of the spine and how accurate it is, and the detail is just incredible. So we take your spine x-rays front to back, side to side, and at different angles to show what we need to see.
Stand on your feet, Jack. Move your feet forward a wee bit. Okay, we're going to just take that toe up. Pull that up again. Sure. 